What's up peeps? Here we go, chapter 3. Today I figured that I would just do one race at a time uh, with all three replayables, playing with all three control types. It's better to keep it short and simple. Today we're going with a time trial, road trip. Now this should be quite interesting. I have not actually played this race in a long, long time. It's not one of the races that I generally choose um, in order to farm materials or cash. Um, there's just nothing in this race at all. It's not even a nitro rush, so you can't actually farm for the challenges either. I doubt there's probably any ramps in this race either. But we're going to start off with virtual steering as always. It's my least favorite. <clears throat> And we're just gonna give it a run. I wanna. I'm quite interested. To, um, I'm actually quite interested to find out how long this track is. This track is. But just looking at it right now, it's not long at all. Oops. And I made a mistake here, yeah, but shit happens on virtual. Oh wow. I'm getting a little too much. Ah, oh, and what do you know? They actually overland here. Can I make the next one? Oh my god. That was a horrible run, but oh well, it is what it is. It's actually fairly short. It's quite, I was quite amazed at how short it is. You know, there are so many tracks just like this. Um, it's not really that long. Uh, there's another one, I believe that's chapter 7, a re replayable race number 2, which is basically the same thing, um, but used to farm for generic parts. Um, around the earlier seasons. Right now it's Rival Seasons number 9. Um, so I'm just going through some of these races. Um, I'm trying to make a bit of a challenge for myself um, in this game because eventually once you get used to a control setting um, and you do max out one of the hyper cars of the game at that point you do get quite used to it and you understand its physics and logic of how to drift, um, how to maintain your nitro and stuff like that. So we're going to give this another go and we're going to tilt. I really love how this car looks. Um, that's the vinyl. Um, it took me a while to get. Um, it's 4800 seconds of nitro in order to unlock this vinyl that I'm currently using right now. It took a few races actually. Not 200 races but fairly close to 200 races I managed to get this vinyl. I'm quite happy with it. The car looks really nice and I really like the vinyl going at the back. Um, it almost looks like tears coming out of tail light eyes, you know? It looks pretty cool. Like it's just like a vinyl line that's dropping down the tail lights. Looks really nice. And I really do like the sides as well. Maybe it's just the nice color that kind of goes with it. The rims are not too bad. I believe that they are um, five star rims. So in order to unlock these rims, I believe you do need to get five, um, five stage ups, all five. So um, yeah, there's quite a few things here. I'm almost uh, finished with the airtime mastery as well. This is almost about to be my first street car that I've completed. Um, as in vinyls, all the vinyls are almost pretty much unlocked. Just need one more, which is a thousand seconds of airtime. Not actually too far off that at the moment. I really love driving this Truno for some reason. It just really makes the game how I used to remember it when I started off and um, with the experience that I've gained so far I've managed to um, beat the chapter 10 boss with this car with its max PR at only 553 five, so yeah I've actually I've actually um, managed to get through quite a bit I can get through quite a bit of this game in the um, underground area just from this one car as long as it's not um, yeah, so I'm just gonna run my normal cut and kind of see how much easier the game is for me when I run cut. Um, yeah, it's just you eventually get used to the game over time, and it's not really anything special, I suppose, at the end of it all. So you can only, you can only try using different control types, understand the physics. It does bring a challenge. It makes the game a little bit more fun, um, and that's the reason why I do this and just want to kind of just share what it's like and how challenging it can be um, and how different the game can actually get uh, when you try something new instead of the whole normal thing that you generally would do um, 
anyways, that is the end of chapter three, replayable race number one. I uh, should get on to um, the Nitro Rush tomorrow, uh, or maybe even later on tonight when I have a bit of free time. But if you did watch the whole video, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope I wasn't too boring or anything, but there's only so much you can talk about in this game. Uh, if you, But if you really want to go off topic, it gets a little boring after that, and you can eventually get lost in translation. But thank you. Um, hope to see you on the next next video. Thank you. See ya.